Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Slice and Dice 3.0. In we're gonna go to see what we can get up to here today. We did a lot of green characters yesterday, so you know what? Let's go for force. Two warriors, a rogue, two tanks. Works for me. Uh, all right, so we get to pick a curse. I mean, we have to pick a curse. All monsters have one max HP. Up. Uh, I mean, it seems... It seems like not a big deal. But we have to think, like, there's some really small enemies. You know, the thorn right here going up to three is actually a really big problem in this first fight. But I might say sure. Pain on all sides. We have more options due to that one setting. But I think these are all slightly, maybe slightly harder curses than normal. Slightly uh, more curse points than normal, if I understand the setting correctly. All right, so what do we have? We got the Thorn, uh, immune to abilities on hit, damage the attacker for five. I would like to kill there, but it is a little bit awkward. Single use two damage, I'll just say sure. Wallop has a stun. You have, okay, five. We might be able to if we just get an attack. I do like the shielding here. Oh God, the, the scoundrel. It's not incredibly likely that we get that stun off. So I'm actually going to go for the roll. And I'm glad we did. All right. Boom. Shield up on the lazy so that we don't die to that question mark. No, you're attacking me there. You dirty devil, you. Why I oughta. So I think that we'll actually just play it uh, safe and boring and do this instead. It is going to be a little bit tricky. Like, the Thorn having 2 HP is usually uh, a very important tool. Save from death sounds good. Uh, pristine. Four shield. Okay, so th that is based on, like, how much HP they have there. Oh, wait. Hold on. Do we actually have this? We protect you from death. We do this. Followed by... I, I don't know why I'm worried here. Okay, good. Reroll the wallop. I don't really care. Rerolling a level one feels like a big waste to me. Okay, th this is a fight. This is a fight in which it really matters <laughs> that everything has one more health. Uh, these guys normally can be killed really easily in like a one-hit smack. So, remove the Hoarder for the Whirl, or remove the Lazy, make him a Soldier. So, just a much more reliable version of it. Sure. It's a bit basic, it's a bit boring, but that'll make it really easy to uh, feel like replacing the Soldier later on. So, I don't mind. Works for me. Damage Vulnerable. Two damage Guilt. Almost any of the other faces I would prefer. I do want a three damage attack really bad here. Okay. Uh, killing a bee feels like a good use. We could also one damage and vulnerable. Make it so that you take one more damage from the next attack. To kill Zerat. I feel like, yeah, this, this works completely fine. No mages of any kind. No mage, no healer. Like, no spells of any kind. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I don't mind the ability to just stun an archer here. Alright. Dead B. Stun. Block. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like the uh, the early game is a little uh, little more forgiving here. I could be, could be wrong. Okay, we're already good. Uh, one, five, two, bye-bye. Chest? What? Get a random tier one cursed item. And a random tier four item. What? Minus four max HP, but then at the start of every turn, self-shield for four. Must be equipped, add decay to all sides. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. I feel like I don't mind this here, since you have the pain side. I think that could end up being quite good. I feel like you having decay on your sides isn't that big of a deal, since a lot of your sides are just, um, you know. Ooh. 
vitality to the left side. You know what? That actually doesn't matter, though. Because we don't have any way to heal until we get somebody who's like sh shield and heal. That's going to be kind of useless. So getting the big heart, a seven heal is, is kind of appealing. Just because we don't have, uh, we otherwise don't have heals across the board, really. Man. The two damage heavy could probably go, but I feel uh, the buckle having no ability to do damage. Two heavy attacks on the same setup. I feel like I don't really care that much for it. Be better. Uh, risk it. We, in fact, cannot do better. So we have the damage coming out down here. The wall has 5 HP. We can, uh, we can stun any individual unit that we would like. This is obviously the most damage. And it also means that the wallop will get to stay at full HP, which is nice. All in all, this was a trash turn, though. None of our, um... See, like, this is... This becomes exciting. Okay, bang, bang. Bang. I'm with it. And the two block is more or less just as good. Alright, we have a... A three damage, a two damage smack. See that—that's really fun. I would really like, um, like the berserker or something today. I think that could be a lot of fun. Irrelevant. Which one we go for, right? I suppose I'd prefer to do that. Hip hip hooray! We just need to kill the wolf. We don't need to kill the goblin. Okay. Armorer. Ninja and Armorer. One damage copycat. I don't have anything. In fact, like, all of your sides are bad. More or less. So we could get, like, a pristine so that if they're at full health, it does two damage. Or we could get the self-shield, but we also get the self-shield decay. As of right now, the ninja's actually really bad, and I quite like the armorer. I think the shield one smith side is uh, is pretty pretty good. I am going to miss the wall up, but I'm not going to keep it, so. We only have two sides that do anything at all, so in like a longer fight, I don't really want to decay your stuff. This, you at least have faces across the board, so it's like, if they get decayed, we could try and roll at least and get a different, also usable face. Works for me. Most damage is coming in here. Therefore, it feels the most logical to go for it. If we do this... For the temp buff, and then we decay it, does it... It probably will go back down to one. But I guess we can do it for science, right? Which face is that? It's the bottom face? Yeah, go it goes down to one. Alright. Kind of what I anticipated. I feel like a two damage guilt is, is completely fine. Big heal shield cleave. I guess I was kind of hoping for, like, a little bit of damage here. Okay, thank you. All right, we weaken you. So now you take one more damage from everything. We'll go for the guilt attack first. It's not a save. Man, four, yeah, four shield. Four max HP down to the start of every turn. Self shield for four is exceptionally good. Okay, we get, we got to get that kill. And see, look at that. You're targeting up there, and we don't even care. I don't know, man. That item seems really strong. Also, that was a really good find as well. Replace the middle side with shield 7 heavy. They have to be the one with the most HP. 
I think I'd rather go for Worn Arms due to the fact that I know we want uh, we want it already. Scoundrel being able to actually play a little bit more sounds good to me. Shade having an extra HP sucks due to the uh, shade of it all. Same with the quartz. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, one, maybe. Looking for a three or, okay, perfect. Just for science here. So we go for a Womp. Is it still the highest? No. So we'll go for a Womp. Tied for highest? Tied for highest. And we can just sort of waste it a little bit just to get the instant kill on the shade. Nothing wrong with that. This item is frankly fantastic. It is going to make things a little bit tricky to... Um, I don't know, to, to look at a little bit. I think that's just fine. We're looking for, obviously, a slightly higher damage attack, though. We're looking for one of the threes. It's the only way we could get a kill on this turn. All right. Wait, why did that... Um... Oh, that's right. It does a shield as well. I, for I forgot that that thing even does a shield. Not a real point to go for the decay, but... We're all good to go. All right, the trapper instead. So we can have two things that apply vulnerable. Our little sword deals would go somewhere else. If we put it right here, I think it would overwrite the decay sides. We could also put it on you because these sides aren't very good. So I don't hate that. I feel like uh, making them vulnerable is, is compelling, considering we have a lot of characters that will be able to get damage sides. You know, not having the mages and stuff, because they'll, they'll obviously have, like, a lot of sides with mana and what have you. Gladiators, obviously, like, slightly tempting. Potential for a four damage is a really big deal for getting out kind of like the, um, the zombies and what have you. Also, the buckle getting the pristine. I actually probably should put this on the, the buckle. Now that I think about it. Because then we'll be more likely to have pristine. I'll go for the trapper. It, it, it provides a, uh, a unique thing. But let's try this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, buckle. There you go. You have 2 HP, but you also get the 4 shield. You're going to be much more likely to have full health. Though, that is something I did not think about. If we get poisoned, we are... In a lot of trouble right now. We can make the militia run away. I'm actually fine with this. Yeah. So you are attacking the hoarder. So if we go for a full on block there. Five shield makes that full run. Do I like the poison? No. No I don't like the poison. Am I concerned? No, I am not concerned. Just get as many damage faces as we can find, I think. Yeah, we, we really don't need to be uh, be patient here. Cool. We can let him run. Benevolence. Allow enemies to flee 20 times. Two empty max HP. Monsters flee if you have five times as much HP as them instead of ten times. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. I, I would love to do a build around that. Add wham to the two right sides. Times two versus targets with shields. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we could get it so, like, we kill somebody with shields, but... Smith? I feel like we could end up making something kind of silly here. Smith Wham. I'm assuming that the shield from it does not count. Feels like that'd be a little bit too easy. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. 
But if we go for like a whoop, whoop, then all of a sudden these attacks are going to be doing a little bit more. Obviously, I wish we rolled another attack as well, but I think this is okay. I think it's completely fine. But that's an example of some interesting shenanigans we could do. Uh, uh, I'm fine to go for that there, but I do, thank you, I was gonna say, but I do really want to get some damage out as well. I'm not gonna risk it, because then we can go for three damage, we get the kill, make it so you take one more damage from all sources, and then yeah, I don't know, we, the squad's been feeling quite good, just very reliable. No, please. So this is my test. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So we'd be able to kill anyways, but obviously a fun time. Bard. Bard is good. Bard is really good. Shield one. We need it. We need it. We absolutely need it. Um, no more need for the pristine. Bard pick. Choose bard twice to unlock the enchanted harp. Middle side with shield two to all allies. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. All right, now I don't really care about whichever here. I, I'll go for the bard, though. I can go for the seven heal on the trapper instead. Magnet on cantrip shield is pretty fun, but... Oh, we got the sarcophagus. Um, do we have a sarcophagus play here? Um, can I get some shielding, please? Oh, okay, Doki. We may, in fact, uh, does this work? Wow, we're screwed. He's a uh, sucker's dead. The good news is we can actually do like crazy damage to the sarcophagus. The bad news is I got no shielding whatsoever. So that guy's gone. But yeah, the the good news, we'll, we'll re-highlight the good news. The fact that we can kill uh heal this man is really really good for us. That was like our most reliable damage dealer, which sucks. Shield shield doesn't even save us. I think we want to just get a little bit of damage. Thank you. So we kill you. That's not even the one that we need to go for, which is so annoying. Okay, so. All right, for, for science for a second. For science for a second. What does that do for us? That puts us pretty close. I think we keep those, and we, we re-roll here and see what we get. Thank you. That actually is fantastic. But it doesn't save us. That actually might. Cool. We'll get the bones dead. We can kill the sarcophagus next turn. Hoping it's, uh... Oof. Hopefully it's good enough. I, I love this. Uh, usually I love that, but I feel like I'm at a loss for if I should even take it. Okay, let me science it. Let me science it out. Killing you is seems like a great idea. Killing you seems like a great idea as well. You could just shield yourself for one, as boring as it is, because that, that gets us the loot, you know? Yeah, it gets us the loot from the uh, from the sarcophagus. We're, we're playing it a little bit wild, a little bit greedy here. Uh, that actually is a pretty good save right now. I feel like I don't need to worry about those. Cool. Oh! 
reduce damage taken from abilities and dice. That's actually fantastic to know that that does not actually count there. I'm going to save you. More important to get um, that. Replace blank sides with shield one can trip. Replace shield and self-shield sides with range damage sides, retaining their original pips and keywords. <laughs> Does it do damage on the all allies? Remove keywords from the left side. Obviously, that has some potential. It has some potential, especially, oh, especially on this run. Oh, this is difficult. The annoying thing, yeah, like, the annoying thing is this probably, this could mess up. Some stuff, oh boy. Eye patch it does have, like, some stinky immediate use. Like, it's not very good, but it has some immediate use. Obviously. Um, the shield one has potential, but I'm taking the eye patch for one reason and one reason alone. And it's because we're running two warriors. We're running two warriors. And we might get the Berserker who has, uh, on their left face, 10 damage, death. So, does 10 damage, but then you die. If we could just remove that keyword, it's pretty good, man. Obviously, we could do some interesting stuff with the... Like, I'm, I'm aware there's there's some cool stuff we could do as well. But it's all I think it's all fine. Um, here it comes to... What, what happens if we remove that? Nothing. That just being two damage is not bad. Uh, just a th three damage to anybody is also not bad. I feel like the two damage guilt is easy enough to um, avoid getting the kill. Oh, illusions with two HP instead of one. That's another instance of a of a problem. Okay. We can definitely save, but the question is, what are we going for here? You're uh, doing a two damage and a weaken, which is annoying. Could be worth just killing that. We could also one, two, kill the bones. We're dealing with a lot less damage incoming already, uh, which is relatively appealing. I feel like the illusions, if you if you don't get them out of the way, though, you will come to regret it. It's it's not a big deal right now, but I think it will become a big deal. Getting weakened every turn or getting potential like petrifies and such obviously has uh, a lot of problems. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Does that work? That does work. I have a feeling I'm going to keep everything here, except we might as well roll the cantrip uh, one. Yeah, it's a maybe. Cool. Because that... That's a really good get. And then let's focus the one in the middle. Because this one doesn't have to actually target the highest health. Good god, what a squad. Bye bye. All right, what are we looking at here? Uh, sinew, one damage, cleave chain. We do technically have some cleave. Or wait, is brute replacing the hoarder? I don't hate that. Getting another stun potential back. I I don't hate that at all. Sinew, I I just. I just don't like him, man. I just don't like him. Oh! Bard's got some problems. You know what? We might be able to just... We could just instant, instant kill. Or something. 
If you get an empty, I don't even hate it. Oh. What? Oh, this is not a damage... It doesn't count as a damage side. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. Curse my inability to, uh... Oh, man. Do we might as well... No, this is just... It's just redundant, I think. I think we want to get the imp out of here. Alternatively, it could be really appealing to get rid of the shade. On this turn instead. If that's a slightly harder thing to do on average. Ah, screw it. What could go wrong? Oh, that... That, well, if we can just re-roll the other thing, that's not a problem. Okay, we have, we have a kill on the top imp if we want it. Love it. Absolutely love it. There's no point. There's also no point not to. We could also... We could do some shenanigans to kill things a different way. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, not hoping for that. <laughs> oh, well. We're looking for one thing in specific, and we did not find it. So I will just stun you. Do we have any X's? We have one X there. In a weird turn of events, uh, the bard's else is pretty bad. We might be on the, uh... Oof. Wait. It's fine. We might be on the lookout for an X, <laughs> you know, to get cleanses. Sure, we're looking for the trapper uh, ranged attack. If we get it, we get it. Oh my god. I chanced it. Because, yeah, we can cleanse that and give you the shield. And then we're taking nothing. Congrats, pal. Good good job, pal. Yeah, keep on attacking him. Keep on attacking him, why don't you? Wait, that actually works really well. I didn't realize. Eliminates. Eliminate focusing down the person with cracked plate is... is fantastic. Stop it. It's fantastic. Trade in your tier 0 through 3 items for a random tier 4. Impress me. Replace the left side with 5 damage. Glass blade is lost on death. Interesting. I don't, I don't hate that. The items lost on death, so it has nothing to do with the uh, the face. At ranged to all damage size is almost certainly something we should go for on somebody. I'm leaning towards you. Being able to kill the back line with that feels pretty nice. We also have the five damage, uh, the five damage plays now. Got it. Got that too. Question, does this count as a shield also? Yes. Or I mean, it's a shield all, does it count? And the answer is yes. Alternatively, we could kill, kill. Oh no, that's not the zombie, that's a carrier. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Chill, chill, chill. It's still probably the play, though, to take this stuff in specific. We would snipe that one. Snipe the sniper. We would do this, which feels a little bit, um... redundant, but also I'm not really willing to... I'm not re really willing to risk the roll there to then 
die, but like we then have the poison. It's it's just bad. We either need to get the kill here or uh or yikes is kind of the question. I feel like I'm gonna just accept the two damage on you as good enough. Is that it? Woo. Woo. All right, bard into keeper. Prince, three damage inspired. What's your thing? Uh, 15 damage, but you need a damage, shield, heal, and a blank side. So pretty much what is only going to happen in the event that we roll this. Three damage inspired. I do like... You know what? I'm doing it because it also gives us a really good target for the shield cantrip sides. not incredible but hey oh no minimum okay minimum one oh i was worried there for a second i'm gonna fish glad i fished okay Part of me wants to take the blank side and fish for the heal. Ah, uh, we should have. You know what? This is actually good. Oh, oh we got the blank side. Wait. Let's check something. Yeah, that's what I wanted to check. Pretty good. 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 <clears throat> I liked it. <laughs> the arrow side, I'll take it. The vulnerable. I mean, it is a kill. Because we can just go for vulnerable, then a three damage, it dies. Three damage, three damage. This squad. This squad. Add heavy and plus one pip to all targeted sides. Replace the right side with heal one, cleanse quad use. It is good, but we... <laughs> We're in a weird spot where... We, we kind of like our empties a bit. Heavy and plus one pip. Is there anything where... I'll tell you, the the vulnerable being it would be good, but the this being targeted, we have to target the highest health enemy with that is is awful. This I don't know how that even works. This would get two damage, I think. This is not targeted, not targeted. That technically should count as targeted, but it'll always go. I don't know. I don't know on that. Eucalyptus is good, but it does... It's anti... Uh, it's disenergy with the prince because of the uh, ability, at the very least. But it does also give us cleansing. Which is a large problem that we have. I think I have to take it and, like, overwrite something. Part of me wants to overwrite this. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, that's not the, that's not the side I thought it was replacing. Never mind. Perfect. Actually actually preferred <sighs> the stun's good but that is better is there a world in which we can get you down nine I mean what else do we what else do we want from you I guess is maybe a, a good way to think about it Can we get four? No. We can get you down to four, though. Did we have Unite? No. We didn't have any healing sides.
I do feel like that's your best thing. Three damage range heavy. That is probably your best side as well. That is your best side. Wait, we have Unite. Let's just look at it for a sec. Okay, so we have the five damage. We would want to do it that way. Dude, yeah, sure. I'm not going to say no to that. Five damage. Hoping for, I guess, an empty. In a weird old turn of events. Yeah, because we don't have the uh, we don't have the X there. Not quite there. Doesn't really matter either way, does it? Technically, I don't think it's going to really matter very much. But we'll do that for kicks and wiggles. I mean, a stun works, but it's also... We're, we're just fine to go for the murder. Times two if the previous dice this turn was higher. Why was the, why was that? In my the back of my head, I was like, yeah, he's got an era side. Like I can't use that. This is entire. There it is, baby. There it is. Have an eye patch, my friends. The question is, who gets the mandatory uh, stinker side now? Might have to be you. The pain side's doing a little bit less damage to us is okay. But there it is. 10 damage, no downside. Absolutely rigged. How do you call it? There's only so many heroes, and we have two of that class. <laughs> it's, it was going to be more surprising if we didn't get it to me, to be honest. I would like to kill the alpha. So I think I'm willing to just say yes to this. We need to get a shield side. Alright, uh... Bonk, bonk, bonk gets us a nice clean kill. We can go for a couple cleanses of that poison. In fact, across the board, let's cleanse the poison. Oh, you're right, I do have else. You're, you're right. You're right. I've been predominantly using my empties uh, in a different way. Uh, okay, hold on. Where's the poison coming from? Is this a kill? Wait. Ooh, not quite, but but also not not quite. It has to hit there. Would I prefer the Barbarian than the Bard? Yeah. I sure would. And then is this a... 
this enough that we need a full shebang for it? I mean, it's... It's just gonna have to be fine. It's one of the penalties of the old 2 HP life. It's gonna cause a little bit of problems from here and, and, and there, you know? I feel like a cleanse is, is a fine way to just solve all of the problems here. We don't even need to worry about a stun if we're going about it this way. Shield, uh, nothing? Wouldn't have hated an empty... Well, no, we don't have else anymore because the bard's dead right now. I... Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. And then we can get the stun on the other. So we're already fine. Man, this is... This has been a whole thing. Thank you. Yeah, here. Add decay and plus one pip to all sides. You know... Something. Plus one to all sides that have no keywords. <laughs> that doesn't have a keyword. The mushroom is interesting, obviously, because we could, like, pair it with something else. I'm also tempted we could get the ranged attacks over here instead. I'm gonna go with the wooden bracelet though, because I do think it works, right? Yeah, it does. Let me just let me just move it around a couple things. Technically we could make this uh <laughs> slightly better. Uh this actually has range, but we could like we could put it in an order which Oh, yeah, I mean, we could get rid of that. Yeah, I don't fully hate... I don't fully hate this stuff having decay, is the thing. That's really the entire argument for that. I don't... I just don't hate it having decay. Barbarian, please help! I need you! There we go. There we go. Alright, we can... We can overkill. By two. And if we do that, then you run. The alternative is overkilling you. Actually, I actually just love that. I, I love that. Probably should have killed the uh, the demon instead. It's just we had so much uh, success there. It's kind of hard to want to do anything else with it. Come on, we can do better. Oh! Replace the brute. I'm just going to say who cares because we're probably going to upgrade him in a second anyways. Uh, Stalwart being turned into the or Bard turning into Stalwart instead. I don't love. Gain a reroll cantrip. One damage to all enemies. Rampage pain. Could be reused if it was lethal. I'll tell you what. I'll take I'll take it because I like the reroll, if nothing else. I do desperately feel the benefit of having this cleanse, but is it better than a 4 damage attack? I'm not sure what could possibly go wrong. We could, you know, it's not like we could get poisoned here or something. Getting rid of the keywords of this is interesting in a way, but also, like, I think it's a no-go.
I'm, f I'm fishing for the one side because we are in... We are in... Uh, yes, there we go. We are obviously being targeted already right now, so it puts us in a weird spot. We couldn't get Unite anyways. That's a lot of poison. It's a lot of poison. We don't have a lot of X's. We are, in fact, we have one character who has the capability of even getting X's. I think that's just good enough for us. We're not really in the market for a, a big single target attack here. Well, am I? It's not that I'm not in the market, it's just that I don't care. Getting the cantrips going is, uh... Is definitely better. Like, obviously we were hoping we were gonna hit the slate or something, though. Come on, keep, keep, keep it for the cantrips. <sighs> we're fine anyways. It looks risky, but... Yeah, because then we go, bop. We have no uh, heal sides. Can't shield up the poison. We're probably, uh, we probably just win this on cantrip attacks. Right? Bomb. That's, that really is the dream for it. Add trio to all damage sides. Times three has the same pips as the two previous used this turn. Crack plate. Whoa, wait. Mind state max HP, but get eight shield at the start of each turn. You could use any of your faces for neutral. Like, for completely neutral, you can use any of your faces. Trio to the damage test. Obviously, like, there's something interesting about that here. He, like a three damage rampage pain. Womp, 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 womp. Chain reaction. But I'm going to go with the, the cracked plate because it really gives us an interesting uh, option here. We just need to... But that... It puts us in a terrible spot re-cleansing. Like, if we can't cleanse a barbarian, we get poisoned. Or we get pain side... Or we get, um, I was going to say, or we get Hexia, final boss. Like, we, we have a really rough, oh, we have a really rough time against Hexia, final boss. Alternatively, we go for the, the old big old cleanses. Hmm. If I get rid of this, then I, uh, I don't... I was going to say, then I don't have the ability to get... Our ability, but I, I think that that's our ability from the prince. What's it called? Unite. Yeah, it's it's all a bit awkward. We really are at uh, risk of poison meme dreams. I do like that. This is for science. Where are we at for damage? Okay. I do want this. Okay. <laughs> eh? Good enough? I'm just gonna say good enough. There's the old poison, but it's coming from the top guy. We got lucky. Got lucky. Again, for science, where are we at for old HP if we do this? We're good to go. Thank you. Do I get the X? 
We specifically need the heal side if we do that. It's hard to say. Alright. Nice little four damage. Bonk, bonk. Shield up on nobody. Doesn't matter. We gotta get that poison away. We could just also stun. I mean, you have the decay sides anyways. It feels like it's probably fine. Yeah, I'm loving that uh, the shield play there. I think that was the right call. Oh, uh oh. Well, we might as well be done now. No point even. Uh, no point even pressing these buttons. <laughs> you may leave. You may go. Uh. Okay. Instead of the brutes. Two damage rampage reused if lethal. Three damage steal. Um, three damage steal. I will tell you, I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking the possibility of how good that could be. That, that, that's a really good. That's a really good combo. We could even put both of them on if we're feeling extra stupid. And we wanted to fish for exactly one thing. Obviously, the Valkyrie plus the Barbarian is a is a magical little combo. Stop him from dying. I'm leaning Brawler. The Cursed Item is still messing me up here. I gotta say, I think the Cursed Item is, a, is a, just a bad call for us here. I think the more likely thing is we just, um, we move this one to the brawler, so that the, I, I think that that's the more likely play. It's kind of, it's meeting in the middle a little bit on that. We don't really love the mold on anybody here. Oh, it's so it's so bad on everyone. Uh, I am. I was gonna say I'm least annoyed in the prince, but no. Then we have all those cantrip sides. We could get rid of we could get rid of the cantrip sides, and we have a much more likely capability of getting blanks. But no, we don't actually because you're the one with the healing shield side. Yeah, it's just it's just a problem. We just got a weird little problem all around, man. I could give you the cleanse, which I don't hate. Oh, I could give you the five damage side over there so we don't have to... But it's also really easy for us um, to get sides over three. It's, like, really easy for us. I mean, you're, you're, you're a one-side a one wonder, basically. Since you're a one-side wonder, we could just do this, but it does completely neuter the rampage capabilities, but... Yeah, this sucks. This all sucks. If I'm going for this... Wait, 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 wait. We could just actually put it on in a different order. Perfect. Actually, that's the answer. That's the correct answer. We can just put it on in a different order. Um, is there somebody with whom I would rather... Would I rather just have a five damage attack? Pro probably. Probably at this point, yes. All right, I think I uh, I think I like where we sort of ended up there. Could try and fish for a unite already. But... Interesting. Oh. What am I looking for? I like the idea of that in a way. So we're not killing the Hydra, right? Like, we're not... We're not killing the Hydra? No, but it was surprisingly close. That buys us technically a little bit more value. 
are, nobody's dying though, right? Yeah, nobody's dying, so maybe it's actually just a better idea to kill the demon so we don't have to deal with his summon. Sure. I'll, I'll be I'll be generous to my future self instead. Boring. Uh cantrip sides versus Hydra. There is no perfect more perfect pairing. Awkward. We might be able to yeah, I was going to say, we probably could just kill you normally there. This is annoying because we can't, we can't buff that up and then, um, and then attack. Because obviously it gets changed then. I'll let the golem run. Obviously he doesn't have very high HP, so yeah, that makes sense. Add ranged and chain to all sides. Times two if it shares a keyword with a previous dice this turn. Add copycat to the top and bottom sides. Copy the keywords from the previous used die this turn. Um, shield 2 to all allies can trip. Like, that. that's really good. Shield to all allies if we can just yoink the cantrip. That's obviously what we keep. There it is. Love that. Love that. We should, um... Do it in this order instead, though. What a squad, man. What a squad. <laughs> Me too. Oh, should grab the five there. Well, I mean, may may maybe, maybe not. Uh, I can't, uh, I can't get the chain reaction meme dream going. The truth is, it doesn't matter. We're completely fine here, regardless. Next. A little overkill. I mean, we're not even gonna get to do our overkill move. Which, wait, which overkill do we go for? I guess we'll probably, uh... We'll go for the 16 damage attack instead. I have a feeling we're not um, changing. Yeah, no. What did I say, man? What did I say? Hexia really does ruin uh, our setup, unfortunately. However, it's like, for example, that does double. Wow. I think we we actually uh, we outdid it anyways. We have no empty. Huh. Part of me likes the idea of going for one of the imps though. So what are you doing? You're petrifying? You're petrifying four faces on the dancer. Yeah, going for the imps is like the it's like the safer play. All you have is the cantrip damage side. Oh. Oh bard. Oh bard. Oh, buddy, oh, bard. To be clear, this is death, right? Boy, is it. However, is it that bad of a death? 
Like, let's let's science some stuff. Also do worse. Wow. This is always going to be a kill on us, right? And to be clear, we can't save in any way, right? It's just it just does so much damage because of the, the doubling there. And this is This is close actually. Wait, hold on. Well, but it can't we can't ever We can't ever solve it. I think that that's actually Oh, what's the what's the better call? I think I think maybe the barbarian dying is maybe a little bit better. Because you have more reliable dice for killing imps in specific. Yeah, I think I'd rather do that sacrifice. I know there's a possibility that we don't have to do any sacrifice. But I think it's actually the, uh, the safer play to, to do it. in the long run, like just not having Hexia to like maybe inflict pain on a different side that we don't want pain on or whatever. That was a fun run. That was my kind of run, man. That was my kind of run indeed. Not a lot of X's rolled, which makes sense. We had most, uh, most faces filled. Uh, loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Uh, what are we doing tomorrow? God, there's so many cool modes. I have loot and raid mode still that I want to play with. Um, what was Dream? I mean, I'm down, I'm down to try Dream at some point. I don't know if it's uh, necessarily going to be that doable. We have not even begun the cursed the cursed s setup. I'll say it's kind of like an endless... The, the, the reason for it for me is it's kind of like an endless mode. And I'm really not an endless mode guy. It doesn't translate well to YouTube videos. And also, I've never been that way. Like, when we hit this sort of hour mark or like an hour 10, hour 20 on like a really engaging, wild, tough run for Slice and Dice, that's it. I'm, I'm good to go. I don't really feel compelled to, to play more. Because I want to just be like, that's usually when you've hit critical mass and you're like, all right, I've really seen just how nutty this can get. And anything more starts to feel like jumping the shark, uh, which is why, like, the whole uh, nightmare mode, it kind of just feels like jumping the shark, which th the dev clearly knows. It's like, here you go. It's, you know, if you want to just fiddle around more, go ahead. Um, I, I kind of just like moving on to the next run, personally. However, I do want to try out Curse because there's obviously like, a whole bunch of uh of stuff to play here win a fight with 13 curses anyway alas alas that's that that's gonna do it here for today for slice and dice if it'd be sad to see the series go yeah gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below and i mean it hear me when i say it those things genuinely matter i factor those in for if i'm going to keep on going on the series uh, it matters a lot as far as whether or not youtube shows this series to other people so, it's only, you know, logical to then say, if you wanted to stick around, it's annoying, but it does, it does matter. Like, scrolling down just a little bit, taking the time to, while I'm talking right now, to scroll down a little bit, click the like button, it does actually make a difference. I know, it's annoying, I don't like doing it, but it does matter. Uh, last, last thing, but for watching, thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye!